What's up, guys? Getting ready to do a lot walk at Maple Motors. We just got a nice GTO in with a four speed 29.9. And we got a nice Chevelle in with a five speed that's 29.9. 67 model GTO. And a 72 model Chevelle. And this one's ready to rock and roll. It's got about $7,000 worth of upgrades on the motor. We're going to be walking around this car a lot, checking out some of the new in inventory. This is uh, just the first two. It's about that time. Let's go for a lot walk. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. I post American muscle cars pretty much every day. Uh, you can check out test drives of each and every car on the car lot right here on this channel. And we walk around each and every car. It's always a two part video. Point out the flaws inside out and underneath. I do that pretty much daily. You can check our website out, maplemotors.com. I have shipping, I have financing available, wheels, tires, parts, and accessories as well. Okay, guys, we're going to walk around, check out some of the new cars that we got in uh, this week for inventory. I do this every Monday. I'll just tell you the year, the price, and we'll move on to the next car. If you want more information, visit my website. If you do not see the car on the website, we either sold it or it's not available. There's going to be one or two on this lot that we've actually already sold this week from walk-in customers. We're going to start up here in the front, go all the way around the car lot. Uh, and check some of these rides out. This right here is a 1976 AMC Pacer. Um, pretty cool little car. No, not really many of them left out there. And a little fun fact, the passenger door is actually bigger than the driver's door. The next car is a 68 Chevelle convertible. This one's gonna be 28.9. Runs and drives good. And springtime's almost here, guys. So. We usually stack up on convertibles in the winter and they all sell out in the spring. This next one is a 1966 Chevelle convertible. It's 28.9. We got a hold sign on it, but hold don't mean sold. It just means we're giving a chance for uh, the customer to send us some money on that car. Right here's a 1965 GTO clone. Sorry about that. This one's 27.9, just a clone car. But it runs and drives good. It's got a nice little motor in it too, so be, be sure to check out that video and learn more about that car. This is a new one that just came in. It's a 1985 Monte Carlo SS. Really clean on the inside and out. Uh, video's coming out soon. I've already made them, so be sure to be watching for that over the next day or so. We got 15.9 on this car as well. Right next to that, a 1971 Monte Carlo with the big block 402 in it, 19.9. Had a gentleman looking at it earlier. Just trying to get financed on it. A new inventory here, four speed, 1967 Chevelle. It's a beautiful car. Inside and out, I will be posting the video so you can learn everything about it. This was gonna be 32.9. Right next to this, got it sold already. Guy drove in and uh, picked it up today. 1967 Wildcat convertible. We sold it for 15.9. Uh, personal cars are all next door in the hot rod parking lot. That is where you will park if you come here. We got all that for our customers. This is one of my rides, grandfather's rides back over there, my father's and my uncle's. Right here, got a nice little Nova. This one's priced at $27.9 and it is a 1966 model. We've already sold the 67 Camaro. We had it for $24.9, just put the video out a couple days ago. Right next to that is a 1967 Nova, $24.9 on it. And it was set up for racing at one time, now it's set up for driving. Right next to that, a 1971 Corvette for $19.9 with T-tops. 
be sure to check that video out we just got this car last week same with this one last week's car 1966 corvette with side pipes 35.9 on this one right next to that a 1968 mustang convertible 27.9 pretty clean little car and videos already made this one here is not available do not call on that that's why i covered it up i didn't want a bunch of random phone calls for no reason ain't that right that's exactly yeah. <laughs> got 14.9 on the hhr it's got very low miles and we use it as our runner up here i can personally tell you it does run and drive great so if you're interested in a newer model hhr with a turbo that's it running low on the back lot well it won't be for long we'll end up filling the whole entire place up here soon i'm gonna walk around and show you some new cars up there and we'll get in the showroom here in a moment of course we got one newer model truck this is an 08 silverado 1500 7950 230 on the miles i believe all the detailed pictures are online you can check out the vins or the mileage on any of these cars by going to maplemotors.com we make sure to have some thorough pictures for you 1970 model c10 sitting right here it's 16 9. 1955 model cameo i want to say is the cameo still available sold, sold. cameo is sold 34 9. i was double checking on that got the old gasser sitting here 26 9 on this one and I believe there's a pending deal on this one as well. I don't know if it's 100% sold, but a 56 model. Definitely different. It's showtime, guys. <laughs> this car here, we literally got it and decided to do interior. Gentleman walked in today and bought it. Didn't make the website. I'm telling you, there's a lot of cars that don't make our website here. Um, but I'm getting them out there as fast as I can. And we always have something to post every Monday. So this was a 1966 Chevelle convertible. Nice on the outside. Nice top. Nice wheels. But it needed interior. And we already ordered it all. This one right here was a 12. It's a 12.9 piece. It's a uh, 1979 Trans Am. Needs a paint job. Just about to take off in the Cuda. I was getting ready to go out there and show it to you. I'll show it to you. It's going in the showroom. Right next to that, for 15 now, we got another Trans Am. It's got a good paint job on it. And like I said, we have detailed videos for you to walk around each one of these cars and check them out. This is an 81 model. So if you're interested, go on there, to type in 1981 Trans Am right here on our YouTube, and you'll find it. Got the Thunderbird. Everybody likes a T-Bird, right? Swivel the column away in the test drive video i didn't realize that if you put it in park it'll swivel i thought there was a button that you had to do and eh, shows my age i'm only 30 here so but i'm going to show it to you this one is a pretty nice car it's a 64 model and we haven't had too many of the thunderbirds pops always talks about them he loves these cars i love the style of the back seat let's see if i can I don't know if it's unlocked or not. Yeah, it is. Check that out. Look how cool it is in here. They definitely did it different back in the day, didn't they? You know you gotta be crazy about a Mercury. 1948 model. And the videos are up and running for you to check out. We got 19.9 on it. It's got white interior. beautiful car and then right next to that we've already sold it it's a chevelle i know everybody likes the chevelles 31.9 on this one is what we got out of it it was a 72 model i got some more chevelles sitting right out here in the middle of the lot though there's pops and jeff walking through trying to end the day we've already closed but i went ahead and made these videos this one right here is a 1972 Chevelle with about $7,000 worth of motor work. It's got a 396 in it, disc brakes on the front, and guess what? Five-speed transmission. That is something different, man. I, I drove this car and I fell in love with it. 29.9. This one right here, I have not decoded the motor yet, but I will have the videos out soon. It's at four-speed. 
29.9 on this one as well this is a 69 model chevelle it's gonna be a pretty sweet piece bucket seats so be sure to watch for that video to come out here soon i didn't get to it yet but i'll have it up so we're getting ready to go in the showroom over here and i just wanted to tell you if you want to see any of these vehicles here on youtube and you see something in this video you like you type on the year 1969 chevelle maple motors you can also add the stock number which this one is 785 so you do hashtag 785 it will pop up two videos of each car describing everything about them let's go in the showroom check it out see what else we got here the old cuda i'm very excited about this one it's got a uh to remember exactly 340 it was a Daco correct motor with a dana 60 rear end um we're still decoding some more stuff on this car i will have the videos up soon it is super clean on the inside and out now i think you're gonna love it i'll have more information about it soon and i believe this was a 70 model I think that horn works. He may unhook the battery. I bet he did. <laughs> Anything we put in the showroom, we try to unhook the batteries. So we're gonna walk through here. You've seen majority of it in the last video. This is a 55 Cadillac. It's very clean, custom paint job, custom bumpers. Interior's been redone. I love the way they did the bumpers on this. They've got a great shine to them as well. And then right next to that, a nice 65 model pickup truck. Custom interior. LS motor. It's out of a truck. And it's got black chrome all over it. I mean, looking good. That one's 34 now. Then of course you got the 69 Camaro, my favorite year of Camaros. And this is a real Z28 car with a DZ302. We got it, the most expensive car on the lot for sure, 69.9. Really nice paint, really nice interior. And it's as shiny on top as it is underneath with a four speed transmission. Heading on to the back here. 65 Mustang convertible, 31.9. This one here runs and drives like new. You just have to come up and check it out yourself to see what I mean, it literally does. We've already sold it, but it was a 66 Belvedere with a Hemi. And we've already sold the 66 Chevelle right here. And also the Coronet with the blower. Just waiting on shipping to pick these up. 64 Corvette sitting here with a four speed in it. Really nice car. This was one of the owner's personal cars. It's 44.9. And of course, a 1965 Mustang Fastback, 37.9. It's got a 5.0 motor, fuel injected. Okay guys, we're gonna walk the lot one more time. Go ahead and get everything taken care of. He's blocking us in, so we gotta go out the side door here. Personal rides in this parking lot here. And you can come right up the front if we're not open and look in the showroom. Please do not call about this car. It is not for sale. And we'll just kind of breeze through the lot one more time. And if you're new to the channel, I'll tell you a little bit about us. So we are Maple Motors. You can check us out, maplemotors.com. If you like these cars, you can get financed. You can get shipping information, quotes, uh, pretty much anything 
you have a question about, you could find it at maplemotors.com or you can give us a call 615-822-4444. We are located in Hendersonville, Tennessee, which is about 15 minutes north of Nashville, Tennessee. And we always update our website on Mondays. Put new inventory on for everybody to see and get a good, good fair chance. If you're local, come on up. You can check them out at any time. That's kind of what happens here. We'll buy a bunch of cars and uh, have 10 to go on the website pretty much weekly. And before we even hit Monday, sometimes three or four of them will sell. Kind of like that Chevelle there. It was going to go on, but it is not now. But we still got plenty of inventory coming your way every week. We got the old Pacer, the 76, the 68 Chevelle convertible. We got the 66 Chevelle convertible. And of course the old GTO clone, Le Mans, 65 model. New inventory, the 85 Monte Carlo SS. The 71 Monte Carlo with the big block. And the 67 Chevelle. That's just our front row here. Coming up on our side row, we've got a 66 Nova. We've got a 67 Camaro. We've also got a 67 Nova. 71 Corvette. A 66 Corvette and a 68 Mustang. Heading to the back. Of course, the 55 Cameo is already sold, and the 70 model truck is right behind it. And then, of course, an 08 model 1500. Anybody looking for a newer truck? Coming back around the side here. 56 model gasser. And then of course the old convertible 67 that sold. Oh, I'm 66, I'm sorry. Then we got two Trans Ams sitting here. One of them is a 79 and one is a 81. Then we got the old T-Bird, Thunderbird, 64 model. And the 48 Merc. Then the Buick Wildcat. And then the nice little 72 Chevelle. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button. I try to post weekly. And we do our best to keep y'all informed. I have plenty of cars coming for next week. I already got a big shipment coming in. And you will know about it next Monday. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please hit that share button. I can show you my car if you want to see it. I like showing it off when I bring it to work. One of the local guys made these wheels custom. Uh, hooked us up with them. I was wanting to do a uh, four-wheel disc conversion kit. I got to get some trim for my window. I took it to some guys to tune it. And when I got it back, some of my trim was gone. I got a little bit of it in the back seat there. Let's see. Cram y'all in the hood. Didn't have it opened already. <sighs> Got like a 90 model 454. I put the Sniper EFI on it. I love it since it's been tuned in. Aluminum heads. It's pretty cool. Of course in the parking lot over here. You got Pops' car. Old Bel Air with a LS motor. 
I can't believe they didn't drive their other cars in. Jeff's got his Impala. This thing's pretty sweet. And Pops drives this every day. This is daily driver. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you got the 94 Impala. 96 is better, but I like this one. It's a really clean car with low miles. It's right over 100,000, and it's really clean on the inside. And literally, the only difference is the floor shifter. And then that 69 Chevelle over here, 29.9, is a four speed car. I think somebody's driving in home, sitting next door. We're locking up. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a little six-cylinder car. The father's got one with a cam in it. That's the LS. I'm surprised he didn't bring that in. Okay, that's the end of the video, the end of the day. It's time for me to go home. Look, he's blocking the gate. I appreciate y'all watching. Please share this video. That helps us out greatly. And I'll see you uh, in the next one. Later, guys.